going up, everybody? It's Cheney the Great back for another Ride With Me Wednesday. So I've been pretty much going nonstop for the last, like, five days or so, and I have... Today's Saturday. I have two more days to finish, uh, finish this little video filming for this Ride With Me Wednesday. What I've been doing lately is pushing filming for Ride With Me Wednesday all the way up until the next week because, I mean, theoretically, I have until Wednesday to finish it. So then I've been using Monday and Tuesday of the next week to film for it. But then it ends up with me working on two Right With Me Wednesdays every week. So it's been kind of like, um, just chaotic. Like, I don't like doing that because then I finish the Right With Me Wednesday and post it on Wednesday. And then I'm like, okay, I'm done with that. But then I look at my list. And I still have the Right With Me Wednesday to do. And I'm like, well, I just did one. Um, so it's been continuously getting pushed up through Monday and Tuesday of the next week. So I want to finish filming this by tomorrow. So then I could just edit it and post it by Wednesday and it sh it should work out a little bit better. I'm really working on time management. That's what I've been working on lately. So I told you guys in an update video that I've really been pursuing, I think it was the update video, it might have been the Right With Me Wednesday, um, that I've been pursuing more artistic stuff and I've really been enjoying that. That's something I've been really motivated to do lately and I've really been enjoying it but I've been getting a lot done. So I had two days off on Wednesday and Thursday. I had those two days off. And usually what I would do on my off days, especially if I had to, is like get a little bit of work done and then just bullshit the rest of the day. And then the next day, get a little bit of work done, finish what I need to do, and then just bullshit the rest of the day. Those last two days, I got so much done. And it wasn't even writing. It was other stuff, stuff other than writing. So like some gardening stuff, I built a bookshelf, which was freaking awesome because that was the first thing I've ever built and I'm using it right now and it looks fantastic. It's flat and straight and all that good stuff. Um, what else did I do? I drew a picture for something. I did the Saturday video, which is now posted. You could go see that. And then, um, yeah, so I really just got a lot of work done and there's some other stuff that I did, but I didn't write, uh, because I don't know, I just wanted to get the artistic stuff out of the way. That's what I was motivated to do, so that's what I did. And now I'm writing. So I have about an hour until I have to go to work. So this is just going to be a good old-fashioned talk to you and write sesh. Still working on that short story. Um, it's going to take quite a while because I want it to be about 20, 25 pages. So it is going to be a lengthy short story. Um, right now I'm four pages into it and I have a lot more to go. So that's what I'm going to do, and then for tomorrow, I think I'm just going to work on some more, like, business side of uh, this kind of stuff. So, the editing stuff and businessy stuff. Tomorrow is Sunday, and I go into work pretty late. So I think I'm going to head out before work and try to do a little bit of advertising, and I'll take you guys along for that. And also just kind of brainstorm some other advertising ideas. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow, it's still in this video, but right now I just want to work on this and talk to you guys. So right now I'm just going to read through it and see if I need to change anything, read through what I've written already and see if I need to change anything or um, just kind of, I like doing this, I like going back and reading what I've written af like a couple days after I've written it because while I'm writing I'm such a hard critic on myself, I'll just go back and change everything over and over again. So I like to just write, get it out on the page, and then come back a couple days la later and read it. And then I can get a good idea of um, kind of like the whole story. So I'll read it from the beginning and just get a sense of the vibe of the story, I guess. And then it just helps me get make, every, make sure everything is cohesive and fits together. Because if I just write a little bit and go back and only read that part, then I'm just getting everything in sections. Whereas when I do it this way, I get the whole story and I get the same mood in every part. I'm reading through this and it's kind of normal for me if I haven't written in a few days when I go back and read to not remember like every single thing I've written, but then I read it and I'm like, okay, I vaguely remember that. But there's this one part, like just these cool, like cool, sorry, just the, I just read a word. These few <laughs> words at the end of a sentence that don't sound like anything I would write and I legitimately have no like recall of writing this section of the sentence and I'm thinking like oh maybe autocorrect like corrected something but I'm on a laptop there's not really autocorrect so I don't know it doesn't quite make sense either like I didn't 
I don't remember writing that. And this sentence doesn't really fit together, like, those words. And I'm like, who the fuck wrote this? I really don't recall writing that part at all. Maybe I was super tired, I don't know. Okay, so I'm finished reading it now, and one thing I really want to work on with this piece, because this isn't, like I've mentioned in the last couple videos, I'm just writing to write and not with a submission or a purpose in sight, which is something completely different than I've been doing the last couple of years. So this feels really good, I'm just kind of letting myself write whatever I want. But for this piece, what I really wanted to practice was just description, vocabulary, and um, just kind of conveying emotion with more description because I feel like my novel is too much action, like this happened, this happened, then this happened. There's a little bit of me describing things, but it's not as poetic as I want it to be, so this piece I'm just letting myself be extremely descriptive. And so far I really like how it's coming out. And another thing I did was, um, it's about two different characters, but I started it with them a piece and following one character, then following the other, and soon they're gonna meet, and it's all gonna be one story. But, um, I, there's been movies I've seen like that, or stories I've read like that, and I kind of like it. Um, so I just wanted to give it a shot and see, see what I could do here. But so far, I really do like this piece. Um, I've just been sitting down and writing without really an idea or direction, uh, that I'm gonna go. When I, when I sit down and write, I don't know the next step. I just start writing for an hour or so, and let it come, and then put it away and then in a couple days come back and read it and so far I'm enjoying how it's going um but here comes the part where I'm stuck and I don't know the next step to take in this because I don't have anything planned out so um so far I've followed this one character and I've followed this set of characters and I'm describing their lifestyles so I think soon they have to meet so I guess that's what I'll work on today but I'll get back to you guys after I write. I'm just going to sit here and write for a little less than an hour before I have to go to work. And I'll come back with you guys in just a second. Alright, so I just wrote for a little while. I have to leave and go to work now. But I finished up the scene that I was working on with that set of characters. Now I'm going to switch it to the other character. And then the next scene is where they're going to combine and meet each other. And the story is going to be one story instead of two separate paths. So that's my goal today, is to finish that, so when I get home from work I'm going to finish that up, which will be about a page of writing for me that I would have done today. So that's my goal for tonight, and tomorrow I'm going to just do some businessy stuff, work on more advertising and stuff like that. So I'm going to call it wraps for right now, and I'll show you guys all that stuff tomorrow. So see you guys in a second. Alright, what's up guys? So I'm back for the second day um, of this little video. And I told you guys that I was going to do, like, go out and try to do some advertising. And I'm not going to do that. Um, not in this video. Maybe in the next Ride With Me Wednesday. But I'm just actually feeling really sick. And, I, and today is Monday. I was supposed to film yesterday what I'm about to film now. But I'm just, like, I'm not feeling well. So I don't want to go out um, out and do this. But I still want to talk to you guys about, like, advertising for, advertising for my business. So I used to, when I first started my business, I had... First, I made my own business cards just on my typewriter, and um, I would, like, set them out at libraries or, um, like, Starbucks places and coffee shops, places where I thought, like, writers would go, writers and readers would go, because um, I thought maybe they would need an editor. And the only problem with that was, is that, like, the libraries specifically would throw away my business cards, and I know this because... Um, I would never get any calls and then I would go back and all my business cards would be gone. So if people were taking the business cards like because they were interested in my business, the odds are like one person would have contacted me somehow. Um, but that never happened. So I know like the libraries, like when the employees would see them, they would just throw my cards away. And one, that was like not cost effective because I would waste money. Second, it would just waste my effort going out there and that's like resources I could put somewhere else where I might have better feedback I guess so I contacted the libraries and asked them if I could have their permission to advertise for my business and then it's like against their policy that they can't allow me to do that so that kind of left me stuck um I didn't really know what to do from there because I have all these business cards I want to advertise and 
of course I could like get on Twitter and try to find people that might need editors and I have done that but I just haven't gotten any clients and the only client I've gotten is through a different friend and um, that person knew I was looking for clients and then he knew someone that was looking for an editor so he set us up which was fucking amazing like the fact that he did that for me was unbelievable but you know that was one time and I I was hoping like from that client uh, through word of mouth I might get another client but that never happened um, so I just got kind of fed up with trying to figure out how to advertise and I stopped advertising for my business I stopped advertising altogether and I don't want to do that anymore because like obviously I'm never gonna get clients if I never advertise whatsoever so I've been rethinking and I wanted to brainstorm a little bit on how I could advertise so I have I'm gonna put this light on I have my bullet journal here and I've been using my bullet journal for a lot more than just my daily planner lately I've been putting like project ideas in it or like I plan out my garden in this uh, I put my exercise routine in it now so I'm using it for much more than a planner but now I'm gonna do some advertising ideas so I just want to brainstorm a few ideas of how to advertise and so far I've only thought of like two possible solutions and one um, this library that I go to they have those little like containers where newspapers are held and you open it up and take a newspaper and it's like the free one so people don't have to pay for them you just open it and take one and I thought about putting my business cards in the newspapers themselves so when someone takes them they have my business card and I think that would spread out to a larger variety of people um, because where I was setting my business cards before was just the informational areas at these libraries so people walk past those all the time and don't pay any attention to them so I think this way um, there anyone who's gonna take the newspaper is gonna read it so at least they see my business card whether they just discard it or whatever but um, I think it'll reach more people that way so that's one idea I have is putting the business cards in the newspapers at the newspaper stands of these libraries and the only other idea I've thought about is like the coffee shops like the Starbucks and stuff like that actually instead of just laying out my business cards because I feel like those were also getting thrown away um, to actually sit down with people so I've gone into Starbucks plenty of times to write before and I notice other people are working on stuff and sometimes it's obvious to tell that they're like studying for something so I don't necessarily need to give my business cards to those people because they might not they probably don't need an editor but I wonder if anyone's sitting around and playing on their computers I wonder if those people are writers because I see people typing a lot but they don't necessarily have like books around them or they're not in a meeting with another associate like a business meeting so I wonder if they are writers so I could sit down with them and like kind of gauge the situation and then engage them and just start talking to them and find out if they are a writer and if they need an editor so that's one way I can add like I could okay here's my business card if you need an editor good luck with your writing you know and then leave or whatever but which would be a good way to meet people and then they kind of get a face to the business you know but there there's a problem with that one it would take a huge amount of time that's not something I could do every single week um because I would have to sit down there and hopefully other people would be there working on their stuff and then I would have to sit down and talk to them and like it that in itself would take a lot of time and then from there the odds are that they are a writer would be pretty slim so that's just one idea but I don't know if it's necessarily kind of like a viable solution another solution I just thought of was asking permission for different places for me to set out my business cards so then at least I know that they're not getting thrown away and wasted and like I said I tried that with the libraries and they didn't let me do that so I don't know here's the thing if it's like a big corporation or somewhere that has to be um, where they have a lot of strict policies about their I guess how the image they have to portray then it's probably not likely that they'll let me do that but maybe smaller places like local coffee shops or something like that they might let me if they want to support small businesses and local businesses 
that might be a great way, like a great place for me to put my business cards or flyers or advertise a little bit. But the only problem with this is, and I don't mean to like shot, like shoot down every single one of my solutions, but I'm just trying to like see things from different angles. The only problem with that would be, um, I live in a really, really small town and we have one library, we don't have a Starbucks and we don't have any small local coffee shops. And we have very, very, very few places where the citizens of the city can just go and hang out because it's like a family town. It's not, it's not a college town. Like when I went to school, there were tons of places where, you know, the, the students could go and hang out with one another and there was like a hipster vibe and that would be a good spot for me to advertise. But there's nothing like that where I live. Um, there's a lot of land in between every building and every neighborhood and every business. It's not like you can walk anywhere. Like everything's really spread out and it's really far in the country. And there's no little shops that would suit a writer. Um, so I don't know if the clientele I'm looking for is around this area, but it's still good to keep in mind. And then I can travel to the nearby cities and see which are also small towns and see if there's more of that kind of um, that kind of business around or that kind of culture, I guess. There's, there's no writing culture in this town, which is the problem. So um, that's one thing to keep in mind. If I put in an effort for looking for these places, maybe, I, maybe I'll find something. I haven't really looked for them, but I've lived here for several years and I know that that culture doesn't exist in my hometown, but maybe somewhere in the surrounding towns, I might find somewhere to put my business cards. And a really obvious solution, which you all might have thought of like the first time, um, what may have first come to your head is advertising online. And so I mentioned a minute ago that I could go on Twitter, find clients who might need an editor and reach out to them, which I have done. And I've gotten feedback where they're like, hey, thank you for reaching out to me. I'll keep you in mind. But they haven't reached out to me to edit for them. So um, there was enough support where it seemed like something they may be interested in the future, or at least they were open-minded to hearing my proposal. Um, but it hasn't resulted in clients. So I could do that again, like just follow people on Twitter, send them a message, letting them know that I'm a freelance editor. I could continue to do that, which I might. Um, that's something I could do anytime. It doesn't take a lot of time. It's something I could do anywhere in any location and re reach people that I would not be able to reach to in person. So that's one thing. Uh, the only problem is... <laughs> Where else would I advertise online? So maybe that's something you guys can help me out with because I really don't know. I don't know much about advertising or where to find the clients I'm looking for. My target demographic, I, I just don't know how to reach them. That's really the problem. And the whole problem for this advertising thing in general is how do I reach out to my target demographic? And uh, the only thing I know how to do online is just... Um, just go on Twitter and find writers, but maybe it would be better if some big websites, at, like, let me put a little advertisement on their website just for like a week or two or something like that. Um, I don't know what kind of websites would let me do that, um, but maybe that's something you all can help me out with. If you guys have any ideas on what I could do regarding that, let me know. And one really obvious, obvious solution is just to talk to people. Um, I kind of get caught up in the routine of going to work and coming home and only hanging out with my friends from work who are not writers and who don't need an editor. Although they think what I'm doing is cool, they don't necessarily need my service at all. Um, but maybe I could just start talking to customers. I'm in a public area. I deal with hundreds of people every day. Maybe not hundreds, but I deal with quite a few people every single day and maybe I should just be more social and engage with those people and keep business cards on me so that if I do run into someone who says oh I know someone who's a writer who might need an editor 
that's going by old school word of mouth and then I can hand them a business card. I think that might actually be the most viable solution I have here. So I'm going to add that. And if you guys have any other suggestions on how I can advertise my editing business in any way, please let me know because um, I was sick of just getting my business cards thrown out. And um, I stopped I stopped advertising. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video. It was just kind of straightforward writing, writing a piece and just kind of spitballing ideas with you guys. But um, this is what I was up to this week. So that's what I filmed. So maybe I'll try to do something next week a little bit more interesting. Go out and do something and maybe um, go out and show you some of these suggestions or some of these solutions in action. So if you have suggestions, suggestions, please let me know in the comments or on my Twitter. It's at the end of this. It's China underscore rights. That's my Twitter and my Instagram. So shoot me a message on either one of those or anything like that. My website is in the description as well. So if you want to check that out and um, yeah, that would be great. Or if you want to share my website with anyone, please do that. Anyone that needs an editor, please go ahead and send them my, my website. It's China rights at Weebly.com and it's in the description. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. But thank you for watching. And I'm just going to keep pushing on and keep trying to progress as much as I can. So stay motivated, stay inspired, and stay happy. See you guys.